Hi, my name is Graham Clark and I run the Irish Adventure Film Festival. Uh, this is our third year in Westport. Uh, the festival's been running since 2012, so we're in a bit of background noise here because we're just about to kick off our second screening. So there's three screenings this year. And the second screening now we have, I think it's four films from across the globe. And uh, they start at 5 pm, and then the next ones are at 7.30. And based on what it is, is they're adventure sport films and documentaries. So they're shot like throughout the world. Um, they range anything from like ultra running to ice swimming to you, like even just stories and art. It's really about storytelling about outdoor culture and you know, I guess they're, they're pretty inspiring. And like generally, people like from the screeners they'll come away, they'll they'll laugh. You know, some people, sometimes they'll cry, uh, but everyone will come away from it like inspired to some degree, even just to get outside, even if you're not that into the outdoors. Like. So and what a, and what inspired you to do this? A friend of mine who cycled, uh, <laughs> a guy called Dahi, who cycled from, he cycled, began a cycling journey going over to India, and the idea for him was, he was cycling every day from Galway to Spittle, to a pub where he worked, and one day he was just like, ah sure, why don't I cycle to India? And he didn't get there, he got stopped at the Turkish border, but it's just like, I suppose it was Dahi's free spirit, and his, uh, there's so many stories like that about Irish people. Now, in fairness, we don't screen that many Irish films. Like, thankfully, this year we've got two really good ones. Um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of Irish stories out there that are really inspiring. So that was like, oh, I need to share more stories or just bring people together to be inspired by stories by other people. That was really the motivation. And uh, where did they come from? The films. Yeah. Uh, it depends. Like last year, we had 150 films plus submitted from. 40 something countries. So, all over the place, it depends. So, yeah. Yeah. so, you have to cull them, you do? Yeah, do a lot of culling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. generally, the film selection process takes about four months. This year is a bit different. We, we didn't open a call to action uh, because it takes four months to actually go through all the films. What we did this year instead is we just picked the ones we wanted and then just said, went back to those films. So, slightly different process this year. Uh, so, that's worked quite well for us as well. So we needed to shorten the, the, the time frame. Is Westport a good venue? Oh, brilliant! Like the W Cinema here is the best venue we've been at. Hey there, Jerry. Yeah, because it's, it's proper. Like it's a it's a cinematic experience. So for that, we want proper cinema. And um, just like there's other locations that are really good, but they just don't have the same cinematic experience. We have a lovely cinema here. Yeah, it's really good. It's fantastic. Really good. Yeah. yeah, it's great. So we're delighted. We even have a bit of history here. there beside you. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Projector, lovely, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, the best to look at it. Thank you very much.